Hi everybody, uh, it's me again, Israel, um, saying hi to you guys from Netanya, uh, here in the Holy Land. Um, what I want to do with this video um, is give a little introduction of who I am. I have a little bit of a story. I, I, I'm 25 years old. I am newly married and I am a convert to Judaism. Uh, I'm going to try to make this short as possible. I don't have a lot of time, but I really want to get this video out there. I converted to Orthodox Judaism uh, fairly recently, um, as of last January, almost a year ago. And then I also, uh, starting at a young age, uh, I finished a reform conversion when I was 19 years old. Um, let me first start by saying that I grew up in a home it was Anglo-Catholic, Episcopalian. Uh, my mom was Roman Catholic, grew up real strict Italian Roman Catholic. Um, but she met my father, who wasn't Italian or Catholic, um, but he was married and, well, divorced, and had a child from a previous marriage. Uh, so when my mom and my dad went to the Catholic Church to marry them, uh, they refused and unless they did some sort of an annulment or paid some kind of ridiculous amount of money. So my mom was like, to hell with that. I'm going to go to the next best thing that, I, that she had heard from a friend, uh, Anglo-Catholicism, Anglo Episcopalian. Uh, but uh, this kind of Episcopalian is more strict. It's very, very similar to Catholicism in as much as like if you walk into the church, the ceremonies, the vestments, the, what the clothes the priests wear and all that are all the same. Uh, virtually the order of the service and everything is the same. Holidays, all that. Um, so that's how I grew up. Um, but then when I was younger, uh, about maybe fourth, fifth grade, I started going to my neighbor across the street. I uh, went to a youth group and belonged to an evangelical Christian church. So I started going to this youth group. I become, started becoming a very religious, Bible-believing Christian, non-denominational, the kind of person that believed that everybody should end up converting to, to Christianity, uh, you know, reading the Bible every day. I would, uh, you know, I'd have a highlighter and a pen, and I'd underline things, and I'd memorize Bible verses. I even went to my neighbor's uh, Bible camp. Uh, a place that I believe was called Camp Sankinac, where one summer when I was there, I was voted the most Christ-like uh, as far as the camper that uh, showed the most, uh, I guess, what they would say, uh, the, the camper that has the most qualities that are most similar to the, the J-Man, uh, so to speak, um, which is kind of interesting. So, I'll start by saying that uh, I was a very religious Christian. I read the Bible and I studied religion. Uh, I ended up becoming a young teenager. And, you know, I knew a lot. I ended up learning a lot. And I was uh, pretty good at uh, being a missionary as far as that kind of thing is concerned. Uh, I would try to witness to people all the time. I try to witness to, to by witness I mean I'd try to preach and get them to convert to even my school teachers, my school friends, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but essentially, the more I studied, the more I had questions. I never really grew up around Jews too much. Um, every kind of interaction I ever had, uh, I had questions and wanted to know more about it. Um, for example, I had a, a girl that went to my, uh, to my school. I grew up with two different girls, I believe, that were Jewish. One, I was, was sort of my girlfriend at one point or the other, or what you would call a girlfriend, I don't know. Uh, if it's, I would really even consider something at that age, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, anyway. Um, but, uh, so, these kind of interactions with Jews, the little ones that I had, always had some sort of interest. I always wanted to, you know, dig deep into it. And then when I became a religious Christian and studying the Bible every day, and 
you know, going to summer camp and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to be more like the J-Man. Um, I started studying the Bible, and I had questions, because I'm reading this book, the Christian Bible, and I'm hearing about a woman that would touch the tzitzit of uh, Jesus, uh, the J-Man. Uh, I'm going to try to refrain from saying his name. I don't particularly like using it anymore, and uh, it helps me avoid... Uh, you know, avoid using that name helps people not get the wrong idea about who I am and what I believe. Uh, I really want to say, one, that I don't believe in Jesus as the Messiah. Uh, I'm sorry I said that name, but I want it to be clear. Uh, I don't believe he's the Messiah. I don't believe it was God. Uh, I believe he was he has existed. I know that in the Orthodox Jewish world, there's a lot of there's some people that say that he maybe n never existed. I think it's kind of impossible to that he didn't exist. The Talmud in two different spots has uh, evidence that he would have existed. I believe Josephus's writings as evidence that he existed. And other things. And the fact that a world religion that uh, millions and billions of people follow uh, believe in him. And Islam believes in him as a prophet. Um, so, I'm studying... Uh, I see these things about his culture, about, you know, he living and preaching in the land of Israel and the northern part of the, the country that I live in today. You know, the Galilee, uh, you know, I've been to Nazareth, the city where he was supposedly born and raised, and no, born in Bethlehem, but, uh, you know, he was raised in Nazareth, which is mostly an Arab town now. Um, so I'm starting to see that this guy is Jewish. And I'm starting to have questions, and I'm like, if he was Jewish, well, why aren't we Jews? I didn't understand where the split happened. Um, so I started studying more about his culture. I wanted to know more about his culture. In my quest to be more like him, I felt that it was important to study the culture and the context of what all these things happened. It made sense to me that if he was supposed to be the Jewish Messiah, that he would have to fulfill... Uh, you know, Judaism. It, there can't be a split. When God makes a covenant, it's eternal. It can't be broken. It's, it's forever. So why would there all of a sudden be the old covenant, which Christians like to call the, the Jews' covenant, the law of Moses, the Torah that God gave at Mount Sinai, why would he all of a sudden say, no more with that, it's too hard for you guys, or you guys, you know, stink at it, so I'm going to save you, and I'm going to come down on earth as a human being and I'm going to kill myself in order to save you. I mean, why does God need to send himself down on earth in order to kill himself and save mankind? Now, I don't want I want to also make sure that everybody knows and by no means am I bashing Christianity. I'm not trying to prove I'm not even trying to convert you to anything or convert you to Judaism or take you away from Christian beliefs. I'm just giving you a story of my journey. To Orthodox Judaism, uh, how I came, a short story of how I came to be where I am. Uh, so, essentially, um, so I had these things, I had these questions about Jesus, his culture, and, you know, all these different things. I apologize once again that I'm rambling because I didn't, I really should make a habit of writing down what I want to say before I tape it. Um, but, so I studied these things. Once I studied these questions, and I answered these questions, I had to study where the split happened. Um, and essentially, uh, you know, without going into detail, and I may go into detail later, but there's a different guy on the on the internet, I think on YouTube and stuff, I think his name is Geo Asher, G-E-O-A-S-H-E-R, something like that. And he does a really good job explaining all the differences and the contradictions and the different things. Things that I found from my own before I ever saw his videos. And it made sense. And then I realized the split happened with one with Paul. And then with the Christianity becoming a religion of the Roman Empire. Um, and then essentially I started going to a reform synagogue. Started studying Judaism there. Uh, started studying Judaism at age 14. Taught myself Hebrew. Um, and then uh, I even went to the reform conversion classes. By the age of 19, I converted. By the age of 24, I converted to Orthodox Judaism, moved to Israel, and got married. I plan on later making some more uh, in-depth videos, possibly, explaining my stuff. But uh, 
thought I'd give you guys uh, a little brief uh, explanation of who I am, where I came from. And if you have any questions or want me to answer anything, uh, I would be more than happy.